Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? How's everybody? Good evening, teacher. Okay, welcome. Welcome once again. Okay, um, let's begin. I'm going to share the screen with you. And uh, okay, attendance. Ok, siempre recordemos, si no estamos participando, hagamos el audio, el micrófono más bien. Ok, um, here it is. All right, I'm going to call your name, so when you hear it, let me know you're here. Let's begin. Um, <clears throat> Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Welcome. Arles Ernesto López. Arles Ernesto López. Baudilio Elenilson Rivera Ramírez. Good evening, teacher. I am present. Good evening. Carlos Alberto Santo Reyes. Carlos Alberto Santo Reyes. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Presente, teacher. Welcome. David Antonio Rosales García. David Antonio Rosales García. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present, teacher. Welcome. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Sorry. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, David says present. Thank you, David. Ever Francis Salvallero. Ever Francis Alvallero. Present Frank teacher, Alvallero presente. Welcome. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Ever Taristides Oya Ruiz. Present teacher. Welcome. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. Present teacher. Welcome. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Francisco Arrazábal Calderón. Presente, teacher. Welcome. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Present, teacher. Welcome. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Welcome. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. 
Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Calling some names again. Arles Ernesto López. Arles López. Carlos Alberto Santo Reyes. Carlos Alberto Santo Reyes. María Magdalena. Yes, María Magdalena. Teacher, eh, no le sirve el audio a María Magdalena. Ah, ok. Ok, María Magdalena está por acá. Ya. Thank you. Uh, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, presente, teacher, presente. Ok, thank you. Voy manejando, voy manejando. Ok, ok. Be careful. Thank you. Uh, Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Oscar Susana Castellano. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Ok, calling attendance once again when we finish the class. Teacher, I am here. Ok, hello. Hello. Thank you. Ok. Well, everybody, take a look. Um, welcome, this is Inglés Play Intermedio Modulo 1, and that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is session 15, and today is August the 17th of 2023. Franklin Delao is present, okay? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Franklin. All right. So, um, let's do this. Okay, so what did we do yesterday? Yesterday we studied the present continuous uh, question form. Okay, so that topic is over. We need to move on with the next. So what about that? Okay, I want you to take a good look at this. The question form of the present continuous. Just give me a second. Okay, there it is. So just as a review, very quick review. Uh, present continuous question form goes like this. The affirmative and negative form is, is simple, right? You use the subject, then you need to use the verb be. If it's negative, you have to add not. And then you have to use the verb in ing, like doing, working, going, saying, etc. So you say, I am doing, I am not doing. He is working, he is not working, or he isn't working. We are going, or we are not going, or we aren't going. But uh, to make a question, Okay, you have to change the order of the words. Well, you have now uh, the the subject and then you have the verb be. Okay, so you have two different things. If you want to ask a question, those two things have to change places. Okay, they change places. There you go. Say, am I doing? Is he working? Is she going? Is it staying? Are you going? Are we staying? Are they working? Etc. And the examples, are you feeling okay? Yes, I'm fine, thanks. That's a yes, no question. Is it raining? Uh, yes, take an umbrella, okay? Why are you wearing a jacket? It's not cold. That's an information question, okay, WH question. The next one is, what's Paul doing? Uh, he is reading the newspaper, okay? So um, that's a WH question again, right? Because you need specific information to answer that. Then uh, what are the children doing? 
they're watching television, okay? Another information question. Then, uh, look, there's Emma. Where is she going? Another information question or WH question. And the last one, who are you looking for? ¿Quién está buscando? Who are you looking for? Are you waiting for Rose? Okay, so the first question is, I'm going to zoom in. The first question, The first question is an information question. The second question is a yes, no question. Okay, so here we go. Um, pressing continuous, this is the question form. The word order is like this. There's the verb be, am, is, or are, then the subject, and then the verb in ing. That's the order. And the other thing is incorrect. So is he working today? You can say, is Paul working today? Now, this order is correct, but if you say he's working all today, that will be incorrect because that's not the order. The order is verb E, then the subject, and then the verb in ing. So you say, is Paul working today? Now, the second one is, uh, in, in the second, the next two examples, I'm sorry, you have uh, WH words. That means you have information questions. So you have M is and R, then the subject, and then the verb in ing. But before that, you have a WH word. Like, where are they going? Where are those people going? And you don't ask the question, where are going those people? That will be incorrect because that is not the right order of the words when you ask a question in present continuous. And then finally, we have the short answers. The short answers go like this. You say, uh, you use them with yes, no questions only. Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. Yes, they are. Negative form, you say, no, I'm not. No, he's not. No, she's not. No, it's not. No, we're not. No, you're not. No, they're not. Alternatively, you can say, no, he isn't. No, she isn't. No, it isn't. No, we aren't. No, you aren't. No, they aren't. And you have some examples. Is, uh, are you working? Are you, are you going now? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Is Paul working today? Yes, he is. Is it raining? No, it isn't. Are your friends staying at the hotel? No, they aren't. They're staying with me. So that's a review on the content that we studied yesterday, which is present continuous question form. Now, we have some exercises, and that will be uh, present continuous right here, uh, 5.4. So complete these phone conversations using the present continuous. So it's the same idea, the same concept. You have to use, in sometimes you have to use the question form. Sometimes you have to use the affirmative form. So be careful, right? If it's a question, if you see a question mark, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, you have to use a question form. If you don't see a question mark, then you use the affirmative form. So um, we have the first conversation. First conversation, A and B. Need to close the window. So um, there's A and B. I need two volunteers to read the conversation, and you have to give me the answers too, of course. So two volunteers. Baudilio, okay, good. Baudilio, you're A, and I need a lady to read B, please. One lady to read part B. Who wants to participate? Okay, Baudilio is going to help us with part A. I need another volunteer. Cecia, thank you very much. Okay, Baudilio, you begin. Por error levanté la mano, pero hay que vamos a darle. Hi, okay. Stephanie. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, that is correct. Hey, Mar, I am standing in the elevator and it's a stock. It's stuck. Stuck. Mm -hmm. Eso. Está trabado. But, uh, Cecia, we need to speak English. Okay. No, no. Seriously, seriously. We need to speak English. Okay, you say, what's the meaning? That's the question. So, what's the meaning? Okay. So, stuck means, está trabado. 
se atascó, ok, it doesn't go up, it doesn't go down, ok, so, um, Bodilio. Oh no, are you ok? Uh, yeah, I agree. It it is moving now. That goodness. Thank goodness. Okay. Thank, thank goodness. goodness. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Ceci and Baudilio. So the first person says, "Hi, Stephanie. What are you doing?" Okay. Present continuous. Uh, information question. And then he says, "She says, Hey, Mark. I am standing in an elevator and it's stuck." Then Mark says, oh no, are you okay? And she says, yeah, I, wait, it is moving now. Thank goodness, okay. Uh, number two, I need uh, two volunteers, okay, to read this, please. It's a lady conver ladies conversation right here. So if possible, two ladies, please. Mm -hmm. Two volunteers. Vamos. Sé que están cansaditos, ¿verdad? pero tratemos. Hagamos el esfuerzo. Two volunteers. volunteers to um, help me with uh, conversation two. Okay, have the answers. So uh, you have Marcy, how are you and Justin enjoying your shopping trip? Okay, then she says, we're having a lot of fun. Is your brother spending a lot of money? No, mom, he is buying only one or two things. That's all. Okay, that's the conversation. Let's continue. No. Hi, Baudilio. Michelle, I have a question. What's your question? Your shopping trip is... Um, what do you mean? Una salida de compras. Oh. It's a shopping trip. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, do you have any other questions about the vocabulary? No questions. Okay. Well then, vocabulary for you. This is a snapshot. Typical families, okay? These are the facts about the United States, okay, and facts about your country. Okay, so uh, you have the, the facts are divided in three categories. The first category is in the home. The second one is the working family. And the third one is marriage. Okay, matrimonio. So there's the marriage. So uh, typical families. The first part is facts about the United States. I need a volunteer, please, to help me read this part, this box only. A volunteer to read. Voluntario para leer. Cecia, thank you. Uh, typical family. Uh, here, the first the first box. Okay. 41%. 41% of home have three or more televisions. 53% mm -hmm. of family are most always a dinner together. Thank you. So yeah, you have that 41% of homes have three or more televisions, three or more. That's the 41% in the United States, apparently. And 63% of families almost always eat dinner together. Okay. Any questions about the vocabulary here? No questions. Uh, but, uh, sorry, Cecia, Cecia. What's the meaning of almost? Almost, casi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Please. You're welcome. Almost means casi. 63% of families almost always, casi siempre, right? Almost always eat dinner together. Okay, Baudilio, do you have a question? Or do you want to read? You want to read, okay. So, um, 
you're going to read facts about your country, but this time you have to give me a number. Your estimations, okay? There is no correct or incorrect answer here. Your estimations. Uh, in El Salvador, right? Facts about your country. Mm -hmm. El Salvador. Country El Salvador. Um... The uh, 80, 80. 80. 80. You mean 80 or 18? 18. Sorry, 18. 18%. Yeah. Ah, okay. All right, 18%. Of homes have three or more televisions. 18% of homes have three or more televisions. Okay. I agree. Okay. Most people have like two televisions. Some people have three televisions, okay? Some people have one television, like me, only one. <laughs> okay, and the second one? And 40. 40? 40? And uh, our families almost always eat dinner together. Okay, that's 40. This You read this? Percent, forty percent. Forty percent. Yeah, forty percent of families of almost families. always uh -huh. uh, eat dinner together. Eat dinner together. Okay, all right, very good. Thank you, Paulilio. I need another volunteer to read this one. The working family in the United States. So, um, alguien que no ayuda a leer ahí, por favor. Maria Magdalena, is your microphone working now? No? Listen? Ah, oh, yes, I can listen. Listen, teacher. I can hear you, yes. Me escucha. Yes. Yes, baby. Teacher. Yes, no. I can hear you. Yes. Alguien que le diga que sí le escuchamos. Okay. Sí le escuchamos. Okay. Um, okay. Well, okay. Okay, please. Party six of mother. 50, 55%. Um, 55. Uh, 61% of mother with young children work. Okay, but uh, can you read this part? Si me ayuda a leer lo de este cuadrito, no me. 55% ah, mothers. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, okay. 55% of mother with young children work. 78% of a school students have a job. Okay, thank you. 55% of mothers with young children work. Okay. Yes, I can hear you. Si lo oímos. Fireworks through the window. Okay. Um, <laughs> you have 78% uh, of high school students have jobs. Can you give me a second? Now, I need a volunteer for the next part right here, but you have to give me your estimation, okay? Your numbers. Cecia. 90% of mothers with young children work. 90% of mothers with young children work. In El Salvador, yes. Okay. And the next one? Hey, Cecia, can you help me read the next one? Okay. My... my... Microphone is fake. Ah, okay. Um, twenty-five percent of high school students have a job. Twenty-five percent of high school students have jobs. Probably. In El Salvador. In El Salvador, right? In the United States, this is very common. High school students often have jobs. Okay, they work, but in El Salvador, not so often. Okay, okay, good. Thank you very much. What about the next one? Marriage in the United States. I need a volunteer to help me read this. By the way, high school is el bachillerato. 
or the equivalent. Okay, uh, Baudilio, Maria Magdalena, and Cecia, you're participating a lot. Okay, but I need more people. But, but thank you. I appreciate it. Necesito que me participen más personas. No, no puedo tener solo tres alumnos participando. Enrique, thank you. Okay, Marvin. Um, 74% of adults between the age of 18, uh, 25, Marvin. Hmm. Uh, 27% of adults between the age of 18, 20, 24, like with gay parents. Live with their parents. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Thank you. So you have 74% of adults between the ages of 18 to 35 married. They get married. Okay. 27% of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Questions about the vocabulary? Cecia. My microphone. Is not working. I have a directly. question. What's okay. the meaning of of um between? Ah, no, gentlemen, thank you. Between, entre. Uh huh. Good. Yeah. <laughs> you can say it in English. I understand now. Okay. Okay. So um, all right. Any other questions about the vocabulary here? No. Ever Enrique. Quizás no presté atención, pero 18 vio en 34, ¿cómo fue? 18 to 30, ah, 18 to 34. You say, for example, in this case, you say 18 to 34. So normally you read this as two, the 1834, 18 to 34. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, what about the statistics in El Salvador? Your estimations, who wants to participate? Even Enrique. Eighty percent of adults between the age of eighteen to thirty-five married. Okay, eighty percent. That's a lot. Okay, yeah, I agree. Yeah, eighty percent of adults between the ages of eighteen to thirty-five married. And the last one. Ninety percent of adults between. The age or eighteen to thirty four live with their parents. Uh, ninety percent. That's a very high percentage. Ninety percent of adults between the ages of eighteen to thirty four live with their parents. Yes, in El Salvador, this is very very common. Because yes. in, in our culture, we live with our parents until we get married. And then we move out of the house. Okay, that's Salvadoran culture. But the American culture is different. Normally, when people turn 18, they say, okay, mom, dad, dad, goodbye. Okay, and they go out. Okay, and they go and live in a different place. They rent an apartment or they do different things. So uh, in El Salvador, this is very different. Okay, everybody. Uh, Thank you for reading this. Okay, uh, there's some vocabulary for us right here. Let's continue. Lesson objective. This is lesson objective 5.3.
In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people talking about their family size using quantifiers. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación entre dos personas hablando sobre sus familias usando adjetivos cuantitativos. Todo, casi todo, muchos, la mayoría, no muchos, poco, ninguno, ninguna, etc. So, let's do this. Here's the conversation. I come from a big family. Okay. I come from a big family. I'm going to play the track. I want you to listen. And then Oscar Susana is here. Okay, Oscar, welcome. Thank you. I'm going to call some people. Voy a llamar algunos cuantos más, aprovechando. Is Arles here? Arles Ernesto Lopez? No. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes? No. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González? Iván Alexis, Rodríguez, Asensio, José Benjamín, Gavidia Guevara, José Valentín Rivera, Mónica, Yvette Merino okay. Ríos. Mónica, ok, welcome Mónica. Okay. Salvador Manrique, Hernández, Vázquez, Santos Mauricio, Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. You're, he's connected. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Let's listen to the conversation, everybody. Here we go. Can you hear that? How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mei? Yes. Actually, I'm okay. an only child. Okay, from the beginning. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Mei? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. <laughs> okay. Page so, 33, exercise nine. All right, uh, two volunteers to read this, please. One, one man and one lady. Who can help me? I need one one man to play Marcos and one lady to play Mei Li. Okay, Maria Magdalena, you play Mei Li. Wilbur, you play Marcos. Let's do it. Voy a bajar la mano, teacher. Permítame. Okay. Okay. How many brothers and sister do you have, Mei Li? Actually, I am only children. Okay, uh, the pronunciation is actually. Actually, a young. Only um, child. Only child. Uh huh. Really? Yeah. Most families in China. China. In, in China have only one ch child. No, no ways, days. No ways, no, days. Nowadays. Nowadays, mm -hmm. I don't. I didn't. 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 know. I didn't. know that. Mm -hmm. I didn't. know that. What about you, Marcos? I didn't. from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? No, really. A lot of family are smire. These these days put family are great because you get loves of birthday present. Yeah, okay. So uh, Marcus says, 
how many, okay, this is for number, how many, cuantos, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? And Meili says, actually, I'm an only child. Marcus says, really? Meili says, yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Marcus says, I didn't know that. Meili says, what about you, Marcus? Marcus says, I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Meili says, wow, is that typical in Peru? Marcus says, not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary in this conversation? Baudilio, and then Enrique. And uh, then, nowadays. nowadays. Nowadays means in the present. It's like when we say in Spanish, hoy en día. That's nowadays. Okay, and thank you. You're welcome. Enrique. La misma pregunta era, teacher, que Same sobre question. esa palabra que no la entendía. Nowadays, hoy en día. Any other questions? That you what might the have? meaning of lot or lot? Many, muchos. Un montón. Because you get lots of birthday presents. Porque le dan a uno un montón de regalos de cumpleaños. Any other questions about the vocabulary? No more questions? Okay, let me ask you some questions. What is the meaning of actually? What is the meaning of actually? Actualmente. Aha, careful. Actually doesn't mean actualmente. It has a different meaning. Okay, so you have to be careful with that. Um, actually means en realidad, de hecho. That's the meaning of actually. Okay, so actually, I'm an only child, they say. De hecho, soy hija única, le dice. Okay, I'm an only child. Okay, so no more questions about this? We're moving on then. Let's continue. Lesson objective, this is uh, lesson objective 5.7. In this lesson, participants will be exposed to quantifiers and their meanings. En esta clase, los participantes se les mostrará los adjetivos, los adjetivos cuantitativos y sus significados. So, uh, everybody, take a good look. Grammar focus, okay? Quantifiers. Now, here's the thing with quantifiers, okay? Look, you use... Sorry, just a moment. Okay, so, as you can see here, I'm going to zoom in. 100%. 100% and 0%. In 100%, you have all, todos, todas, todo, toda, okay, all. Then you have nearly all, casi todo, okay, casi todos, casi todas, nearly all. And then you have most. What is the meaning of most? Most means La mayoría, o la mayor parte. Thank you, Cecil. Okay, it means la mayoría o la mayor parte. So you have it here. Near 100%, you have all. All families only have one child. You can say nearly all families, casi todas las familias, nearly all families have only one child. And most families, la mayoría de familias, have only one child. That's China. Okay. Now, going down the scale, we have this. Many. We have a chat entry here. Jose Benjamin Gavidia Guevara is here. So, we're taking attendance. Thank you, Jose Benjamin. Uh, Wilber. Many, mucho? Many, muchos, muchas. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, muchos, muchas. So you have many families are smaller these days. Muchas familias son más pequeñas estos días. ¿verdad? Many families are smaller these days. You have a lot of families. A lot of and many are the same. A lot of is muchas, muchos, muchas, okay? A lot of families are smaller these days. And then going down the scale, you have some. Some is like unos, unas, or algunos, algunas. Some families are smaller these days. Algunas familias son más pequeñas estos días, okay? Some families. Now, going down, we have not many. What is the meaning of not many? What is the meaning of not many? Cecia. No muchos. No muchos, no muchas. Okay. Not many couples have more than one child. No muchas parejas tienen más de un hijo. So not many. Okay. You're going down the scale right there. You have a few a few couples have more than one child unas pocas okay that's the meaning of a few unas pocas a few couples have more than one child and then you have few few that means pocas okay a very reduced number few couples have more than one child and finally you have zero percent at zero you have no one which means nobody, nadie, okay? No one gets married before the age of 18. Nadie se casa antes de los 18 años. Baudilio. Um, teacher, en la palabra uh, little no cabe en esta... No. No, because that's for uncountable nouns. It's a different type of noun. In this case, we are only using countable nouns. Explicación rapidita. Esto solo es para sustantivos contables. En caso de sustantivos incontables, no se puede porque, bueno, no se pueden contar. <laughs> okay, so uh, you cannot use little. Not in this case. Okay, thank you, teacher. Pero uh, solo en, en el caso de las familias, cuando, ejemplo, aquí en El Salvador se dice, 10 eh, familias salieron beneficiadas. Mm -hmm. Then you can use a number. Ten families were benefited. Oh, okay. Ten families. Mm -hmm. You can use a number. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So again, these are the quantifiers. Again, 100%, all, nearly all, most. Going down, you have many, a lot of, and some. Going even uh, further down, you have not many, a few, and few. And 0%, no one. You can also say nobody, okay? Uh, do you have any questions before we continue? No questions? Everything is clear. Okay. So what are we going to do here? Okay, you are going to rewrite these sentences using quantifiers, then compare with a partner, okay? So what are we going to do here? Take a look. You have, in China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. And you have the scale here. 100% all, 0% no one. So I'm just going to give you an example, okay? In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. You can say, for example, in China, a lot of women or many women get married by the age of 22. 50% is a lot of people, okay? so. A lot of women get married by the age of 22, or many women get married by the age of 22. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to give you, let's see. I'm going to give you five minutes, okay, everybody? Five minutes to write the other sentences. The first one is an example. Cinco minutos para que escriban las siguientes cuatro. And then we'll ask for volunteers. You have, in Australia, 87% of married couples. 87% son la mayoría. Ahí ya van viendo cuál le pongo.
Okay, four minutes. Sorry, five, five minutes. And counting. If you have questions, you can ask me. Remember, if you have questions, you can ask me. Polilio. It's only changed the number for the... Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Technically, yes. Quiero intentar con la segunda. Okay. You will go with number two. In, Aust in Australia, mm -hmm. nearly half of married, married couples have children. Okay. In Australia, nearly all, nearly all married couples have children. You can say in Australia, most or nearly all married couples have children. Now you have to be careful because normally you have to eliminate the word of. Oh. Okay, so you say most married couples have children or nearly all married couples have children. Okay, yeah, that's the idea. Thank you, Odilio. We still have uh, three more minutes. Let's continue. Everybody, please finish the exercise and then we check together. And go to three. Enrique. Teacher number three. Do you want to do number three? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. As you wish. Uh, in the in the United States, uh, no one percent of the people voted before the age of eighteen. Okay, but you have to be careful because when you say in the United States, zero percent of the people you eliminate all this zero percent of the people and then you say no one no one but this only that so you say in the united states no one or no one. nobody votes before the age of 18. Yeah. okay all right cool thank you for your participation for the rest we have two minutes okay so everybody i want you to finish number four and number five after those two minutes we're going to check answers together Maria de Lourdes wants to participate. Okay. Number four. Yeah. In Germany, a fellow, um, a few people. A few people. A few people. Mm, but live, this is. Um, live alone. Live alone. Okay. A few people live alone. But you have 35%. That's more than a third. Más que un tercio eso. So I I will probably not use a few. Mm. Uh -huh, probably more. Mm, some? Yeah, that sounds better. Uh -huh. Can you say it? In Germany, uh, in Germany, some... Some some people yes 
live alone. Okay. I have uh, some people in Germany live alone, but you can also say in Germany some people live alone. It's okay. All right, that sounds good. Sounds really, really good. Okay. So, um, what about the last one? Okay. I see you want to participate, so let's do this. <laughs> what about the last one? Number five. Cecia. Uh, most American high school students have a job. Most American high school students have jobs. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Most American high school students have jobs. Okay. Very good. Now, that's how you use the quantifiers. Not difficult. Okay. Everybody, thank you for your participation and for doing the exercise. We have only about 10 minutes, so um, let's hurry. Okay, uh, there are a few more exercises that we have to do. And uh, we go like this. This exercise is kind of long. Let me go with the next one. We'll go with this one right here. Okay, um, complete these sentences about your country. Use the words in the box. So what's that? You have all, nearly all, most, a lot of, some, few, and no. Okay, you can also use no. No is zero. Okay, no means zero. So you have to complete these sentences using these words right here. And uh, the information is all about El Salvador. Okay, so what about number one? Young people go to college. Los jóvenes van a la universidad. Okay, you tell me, Maria de Lourdes. Most young people go to college. Most young people go to college. Okay, most young people go to college. All right, we can say that. What about number two? Baudilio. A lot of people study English. A lot of people study English. Yeah, this is true. In El Salvador, a lot of people study English. It's necessary. Absolutely necessary. Very important. Okay. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Number three. If you want to participate, please raise your hand. Uh, okay, Baudilio just participated. So, Maria Lourdes. Well, thank you, Baudilio. Some married couples have more than five children. Some married couples have more than five children, especially, you know, some grandparents. Okay. Some grandparents, yeah, they have more than five children. Okay, but in the present, this is not so common, not anymore. But in the past, uh, yeah, it was very common. <laughs> okay, all right, thank you very much. What about number four? Elderly people, but a gente mayor. Enrique and then Cecia. Number four. Yes. Uh, nearly, nearly one, more couple. Hang more de, than than five children. Well, that's number three. But yeah, you but told me in, 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 nearly all, all nearly all married two. couples have yeah. more than five children. <laughs> okay, I'm number four. Estoy viendo doble. <laughs> oh, okay, you're sleeping. But, uh, nearly all elderly people have part-time job. Nearly all elderly people have part-time jobs. Hmm. Okay, it's an opinion. Yeah. Uh, do you, um, I, I don't really agree, but okay. So, casi todas las personas, los adultos mayores tienen trabajos de medio tiempo en El Salvador. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> okay, probably not. Okay. 
to begin with, uh, part-time jobs in El Salvador are not very common, okay? But okay, all right, that's an opinion, I guess. Thank you, Enrique. What about number five? Who can help me with number five? Wilber. Mm, no student have full-time job. Okay. Um, some university students do, okay. But before university, we can say no students have full-time jobs. We can say no school students have full-time jobs in El Salvador. Okay. University students sometimes have full-time jobs. But yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Wilbur. And number six. Who can help me with number six, please? Number six. Maria de Lourdes. Thank you. No, no children go to a school on Saturdays. No children go to school on Saturdays. Yeah. Maybe if they have like uh, some special classes, maybe like English classes, maybe they go to school. But in general, no children go to school on Saturdays. Okay. Maybe only English classes. Okay. And kids go to English classes. All right. Okay, good. That, that was that was very good. Thank you for participating. Okay, uh, we're just gonna have a quick review on this and then we're going to uh, finish the class. So again, it's the grammar focus quantifiers. We have a scale right here from 100% to 0%. And it goes like this, okay, 100%, that's all, all. Todos, okay, all. And 0%, you have no one, nadie. Okay, it's the opposite, the opposite extreme. So uh, again, right, 100% all, then going down the scale, you have nearly all, casi todos. Okay, nearly all families have only one child. And then you have most, which means la mayoría. Most families have only one child, okay? So if you go further down the scale, you have uh, many, many families are smaller these days. Okay, muchas familias, muchas familias, so many families. A similar meaning is uh, a lot of, okay? A lot of families are smaller these days, okay? So it's pretty much the same. Then you have some, some means unas o algunas, okay? Some families are smaller these days. If you go farther down the scale, you have not many, not many, which is no muchos, no muchas. Not many couples have more than one child. You have a few, unas pocas, okay? A few couples have more than one child. And then you have few, that's even further further down the scale. You have few couples have more than one child. Pocas parejas, few. And then at the bottom of the scale, you have no one. No one, that is zero. No one gets married before the age of 18, okay? Nice dog. <laughs> What's your dog's name, Cecia? Her name is Candy. Candy, okay. Hi, Candy. All right. So um, now uh, something that I needed to uh, tell you about is the platform, okay? Uh, hoy mandaron una notificación, ¿verdad? Por WhatsApp. Algunos todavía les faltan algunas secciones de la plataforma. Por favor, eh, completemos, ¿verdad? Completémosla para que no tengamos problema por, eh, digamos, esa nota, por ese porcentaje de, de trabajo en la plataforma, ¿ok? Así que si nos falta alguna sección, eh, incluso puede, creo yo, una sección de, la sección de las unidades anteriores, por favor, completémoslo, ¿ok? Tratemos de completarlo. Ya tendría que estar para esta noche, me parece que le dijeron ahí. Ok, so... Um, I want you to complete that. Please also complete the final exam. Okay, you need to do it. Tomorrow, we're going to finish the unit, which is unit number five. And also we're going to review or we're going to go through the final exam together. Okay, so please don't miss the class. I'm going to take the attendance one more time and then we're going to finish. Okay, so if you hear your name, let me know. Arles Ernesto Lopez. Is Arles Ernesto Lopez here? 
Wilber. Excuse me, teacher. Um, yes. Tomorrow um, I am on um, class. Yes, we have a class tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. The final class. Final class. Mm -hmm. We have a class. Si mañana hay clase, ¿verdad? No hay vacación. Okay. We have a class tomorrow. Mañana hay clase. Es la última. Okay. Uh, Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. No. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Tiche, Carlos Reyes, creo que está mal de salud. Tiene dos días de estar así. Híjole. Bueno, ojalá para mañana ya esté. Ahí le voy a... Quitar. Ya le voy a dar por teléfono para que se conecte mañana y que sea por ahí. Mal de salud, que obligue yo, le voy a decir. Aunque sea de oyente, aunque sea así acostadito con, con el teléfono a la par. Ok, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. No. Um, Iván Alexis, creo que no. José Valentín, no. Uh, Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez, are you here? Salvador. Nope. Ok, Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle, connected. Vaya, de nuevo, la recomendación es, conéctense, conéctense, porque hay un porcentaje de participación, o sea, es un porcentaje de, de, de asistencia. Cada minuto que usted está conectado cuenta, porque Zoom cuenta los minutos que cada participante ha estado en la reunión. Por lo tanto, mi recomendación es, aunque usted ya haya completado todo en la plataforma y usted diga, ah, pero es viernes, voy a ir a comer pupusas. No, ¿verdad? Conéctese, conéctese, porque puede que le falte un charquito para llegar al 80%, ¿verdad? Y si usted no se conecta, no llega, entonces ya no puede pasar al otro nivel. Así que por cualquier cosa, por favor, conéctese. ¿De acuerdo? Baudilio. Nearly Hall. Nearly all the class. Okay, you have to be connected nearly all the class. Okay. Everybody, thank you very much. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night, people. Good night, group. Bye-bye.